Hey peeps, Skeletons here with my blind playthrough of Lost Odyssey and we have finally made it to the city of Gulza after fighting our way through the ice canyon. There was word about a lightning strike melting the glacier near Sarban. Hopefully that isn't some kind of omen. I don't know what you mean. Oh, hello. Good job I didn't take a couple of steps further last episode. I hope I got whacked into a uh, cutscene. Citizens of Gotza, do not be afraid. Our overwhelming military strength means we have nothing to fear. Even if Numara or Ura should bring their magic energy to bear on us, be proud that you were born a citizen of Gorsa. Right, so this is the, this looks like the king of goats or whatever. We've got the queen of Numara chilling out with us coming along. And then the king of Ura is the gold guy, isn't it? Tontel or something? Sounds like everyone's eager for war. I swear, kings and rulers are all the same. Except for the one who's with us right now. <laughs> king Goats is one creepy guy. Hmm. Something up, game? No. I'm sure things are getting tense between Goats and Ura right now, too. It's likely all parts of Gon it's likely all part of Gongora's plan. We must go quickly and see the king. Yes, we must go to him and say, no, do not start a war. Right, is there anything? There must be some stuff to be uh, looted. Uh, okay, hang on, that looks like it's going to take me somewhere. Don't want to do that yet. The purple thing is a shop, right? I think. The purple icon. There we go. We might get, you know, might get a few weapon upgrades. Might get a few... Fan new new fancy accessories. Top up on my angel plumes after Cook died about 50 times last episode. Hello, thanks for your patronage. You're bound to find everything but the magic train in this store. Well, I wanted the magic train. Um, healing herbs, strong. Okay, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit low on healing herbs. I don't use them that often, but, you know, sometimes. Say, like Seth or whatever, someone who hasn't got very good magic skills. Sometimes I might use them. A mana bottle. High quality magic medicine that greatly restores magic points of one party. To be honest, the mana capsule fully restored all of Sarah's magic in one go. I think so. That's that's plenty for now, at least. I'll buy a few more of these. We've got plenty of cash. These are just, yep. Yeah, spells. Oh, hang on. He sells magic. Oh, he sells magic that I already own. Your shop has got poor supplies, dude. Hey, don't I know you? You look awfully similar to the guy in the uh, the other town. A full blade. I Yes, full one, please. Not a half. Um, chakra. Um, a battle discus enhanced by the magic engine contained inside. It's, it's a minuscule day. I'm not paying 3,800 to, to have an extra two attack power. Spe certainly not with someone who doesn't attack very often, or not physically. I will get a couple of full blades, though. I've got money to spare, so I might as well go wild. It's an improvement, and they do physical attacks a lot. Randomly performs a counterattack against the enemy's regular attacks. Um. Oh, oh no. Okay, we've got that already. Level five. That sounds nice. Level five, black and white magic, all in one ability. I mean, that's a monster, isn't it, if you can give that to someone? That's even better than what Sarah's got. I think hers is level 4 of both. Grants immunity to Kelalon. I mean, I'll get that, because I'm getting kind of one of everything to just kind of cover the bit. Oh, that's what was stolen! Last episode, someone stole something. I was like, what was it he stole? It was the magical trial record, and that's why the stock of it now says 0 instead of 1. 
God damn it, he stole something really, really expensive there. Enables use of spirit magic up to level five. To be honest, we can learn that from um We can learn that from Mac, so it's fine. Won't even bother. I will quickly whack these two swords on them though. Full blade. Full blade. I think we're good for rings. Everyone no. Oh, hello. He's he's not learned that. So let's give him level five black and white. Eventually. Right, do you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cook. <laughs> but you have uh You've you've Oh god! Did that What the hell? Did that like Did one of the fights mess up our formation or something? Right, I'm putting you there, but then I'm swapping you for I think I'm gonna have to just swap you for get it. let me okay, there we go. I think I'm gonna have to just swap you for Mac, I'm afraid. Say la vie. You've, you've, you just haven't got the skills that Mac has, I'm afraid. And I was looking at, you know, the whole skill link thing with other people, and, um... The, the thing is, um... The others have skills that, that, the, that the immortals haven't learned yet, but they're all rubbish skills, so it's kind of like, meh, you know. Like, yes, they have got skills that they haven't ticked off yet, but all of Jansen's skills and all of um, Cook's skills are rubbish. Like, you know, for, for the kind of the type of character that they are. So, it is of no use to me, I'm afraid. Right, that's it. We're fully suited and booted, and let's go somewhere. Oh, that looks like our Vars that I can probe. Three pendulums. Beautiful. Right. Let's hop in here. Going down or up. Whatever. <laughs> Going somewhere. Boop. I have no idea. Hi oh, we're in Hightown now. This is where the, uh, the top folk hang out, I assume. This district is home to the nobles. You may not pass without identification. Halt! Where's your goat's citizen ID? I can't allow you to pass without it. Can I just... Let me in! Okay. Clearly, uh... Top town, up town, high town, <laughs> is, uh, off limits to, uh, proles like us. Okay, the only place I can think of going then is that other lift. Remember there was a... There was another elevator, kind of... Well, I assumed it was an elevator. Or I assumed it was going to take me somewhere. There was another thing a while back that I didn't go in, so I thought, oh, well, hang on, let's have a good look around first. Hey! Cheeky little probable vase. Healing tank, don't mind if I do. It's all free. There's a yellow dog there, that's perfectly normal. I see yellow dogs all the time. Going down. Oh! Safe went down here. And is this a uh, some kind of like market stall? No, more yellow dogs though. I suppose I should save it. I don't really need to, but whatever, we'll save it. There we go. And I did spot a vase on the way past. I did spot a vase that was in was begging for a probe. Right, let's go. Oh, what's this? Where do you? Where do you take me? What? Which floor do I want to go to? I don't know. Seventh? Start at the seventh and head up? Or down? <laughs> Abandoned apartment. Hello. <laughs> A drunken golden. Ugh, hugger. An alcohol, not, nothing better. Yes, indeed. Um, what the hell is this place? I guess this is the, you know, this is the, the slums. What are you doing here? We're always here. Well, we never thought we'd see anyone else around here. Got a little uh, cheeky Triforce there on the, uh, not quite, <laughs> it's the entrance. Abandoned apartment, where the hell? I don't know where I'm going. Just go with the flow, Kaim. Go where the wind takes you. 
At least while there's no random encounters, we can just kind of explore till our heart's content without fear of getting mobbed. But it doesn't look like there's anything of value in there. And that's a broken staircase, so I can't go that way. Can't go there. I can probe you. Mana Prime. Ah, maybe this is how... Oh, no. Okay. Um, I was going to say maybe this is how you get to the ninth floor. If you want to go on foot. But I think it stops. It stops at the eighth floor. Just randomly... Oh, what the hell? Thousand gold? Cheeky. Cheeky monkey. Okay, I don't think there's anything more... I get, did I go further up? I can't even, oh, I did, did nine. It was a dead end. Okay. Right, okay. I'm going to have a look around and see if I can um, make some actual, like, progress of some sort. Excuse me. Oh, hello. You must have valid citizen ID. train station. What? You, you mean we can't even come up on the platform? I want to hmm. talk to the manager. No. Foreign nationals may not enter the station. Your identity card is your ticket. Well, you want right. the man. <laughs> well, that's that. We're not getting in. Don't want to go to the train station anyway. Uh... Right. Okay. Nothing else to do down there. I feel like I'm just wandering the streets of the city, like I don't know what, like a lost man. Do. I feel like I've been everywhere. I must not have been everywhere because I haven't done... Something's not happened. Oh. Can't see. Take your pardon. I count as two points because I could die. I'm the human. You guys are immortal. So everyone wants to back up. And what is that? I think that's mine. <laughs> You don't suppose that was... I do. I have to leave you all for a while. There's some business I have to attend to. But business? Need a partner? I'm coming I'm to you. I can handle this myself. It concerns me too. Alright. Excuse us. Please, go on ahead without us. She can handle herself. She's probably the strongest person in the team. What was that all about? Well, you know, they just got together after a long separation. Unlike you, most women don't kick people. <laughs> they like to be together and share warmth and company and caress one another. Show and I think Ow, see, proved my point. Kaim's whole demeanor changed when he saw that coin. Maybe he collects them. Like he was like it flies or something. Nita! Wow! What? I don't know. What is it? It's the royal carriage. We don't have anything like that in Numata. Can we? We won't leave the town, please. That seems dangerous to me. Yeah, you're the dangerous one. I, I think it's safe enough, kids. <laughs> yeah, you know, I wanted to hop on it too the first time I saw it. Yeah, don't push any buttons, because I did that once. And don't leave the town. We won't, don't worry. I'm surprised they're allowed to go anywhere. That's where foreigners. Oh, this is the first time they've been on these streets. Man, you know, they could get into trouble. I'm, I don't know if that... Maybe I should go... Wait a minute. What am I doing? I'm worried about a couple of kids. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. God, maybe he's growing a heart. Mm -hmm. Where did they go then? Down this way? We won't be able to get to the palace with this lift. Maybe the one in back in the square can get us to the upper level. Ah, uh, okay, it's in the palace. Well, okay. Um, okay, so that's like High Town or whatever. But we're not even allowed in High Town. That's for nobles and such. They won't let the, our kind of rabble in there. I hope we don't get into any fights. 
can't, can't be doing with Kaim and Sarah being gone. They're our two best people. Alt, identify yourselves. Show your citizen IDs. You know, this wasn't on the brochure. Now, I'm not taking a cruise anymore. You know, they always never tell you the fine print stuff. This is Queen Ming of Numara. What? Numara? She's a queen, you know? Off with your heads, ring a bell, huh? And, uh... I wasn't notified about mm. this. If you're the queen of Numara, why are you coming to our country so informally? These people don't look like much of an escort. Uh huh? It's okay, it's fine. Yeah, we're traveling incognito. Yeah, that's undercover. Yeah. Yeah, hush, hush. Uh. Odd things have been happening in Numara. You know, people losing their clothes and stuff. Her Majesty felt <laughs> it was her duty to come outside and do some research. You know, so be a pal. Try and help us out, you know, with this. Are you a spy, by the way? Regulations are regulations. And there's no proof she's the queen of Numara. Ooh. Clearly, she's not famous yeah. enough that Proof people just know what she looks like. Even a foot soldier such as yourself should recognize the crest of the royal house of Numara. The glowing pendant on the queen's chest. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! What? what whoa, whoa, you hey! You can't do that! You're a queen! Yeah! I agree with you, finally. Yeah, there's gotta be a better way. Whoa, that's... that's a very... It can't way. be. Uh, <laughs> wow. You know, you think you know someone? Nice surprise. My sincerest apologies, Your Highness. You are without a doubt the Queen of Numara. <sighs> you are most welcome to enter. Thank you, Officer. Well, wow. that was a daring thing to do. <laughs> It They're not at war with her. Yeah. Not at war with that Namara yet, right. then. Because, they, you know, they've welcomed her with sort of open arms. <laughs> I don't care if this guy's a king or whatever. Why do they have to make this place so damn big? Be quiet. This looks like the place. Please, right this way. Presenting Her Majesty, the Queen of Namara. What's this? What's this? How are we supposed to see the king? Yeah, you know, we're not even sure if he's up there or not. I mean, looks like a maid. <laughs> Your Majesty is most kind to receive me on short notice. I am Ming, Queen of Numara. I have a most urgent favor to request. You must have gone to considerable trouble to visit me, Queen Mei. It was my understanding, however, that your country preferred to remain isolated from its neighbors. I find it curious that you are here unannounced, with no fanfare, and accompanied by persons of uncertain character. You have every reason to be wary, Your Majesty. It was necessary, however, for me to use such unorthodox methods. I beg your patience and ask that you hear my request. Certainly, my dear queen. However, I must verify that you are who you claim to be. I am aware that you demonstrated at the castle gates that you bear the glowing birthmarks of the royal house of Numara. However, in these times when magic energy is everywhere around us, it would be a simple matter to have such marks artificially added. What are you implying, oh, your majesty? You doubt her word? Something smells fishy here, and it's not me. Mm -hmm. Very well. In the interest of diplomacy, I shall once again demonstrate the sigil of my rank. Your cooperation is appreciated. However, I will need a bit more proof. Understood. I have heard that the Queen of Numara is a capable sorcerer. If that is true, you should be able to reach me by breaching these barriers. Yes. Wait a minute. Let me get in front. I'll guard you. Mm. It's she can handle it. Your Majesty. I will now approach the throne. Oh, what? The hell? 
Do I have to do it in a certain... That was weird. I don't know why I got pushed back the first time. Maybe you, maybe they turn back on after a certain number of seconds, so you gotta kind of get through. What the hell? Well, this isn't working. He's toying with her. Your Majesty, there is no time for such sport. We don't have much time. Okay, it was his shenanigans, not my, not me screwing up. I think. I don't know. I'm sorry, maybe it wasn't his shenanigans. Maybe I ran forward to before the barrier had actually gone. Barrier had actually gone. So I kind of bumped into it while it was still lit. Hey, what's happening? Hmm? There are no more barriers. Did, did it break? Somebody do something about this quick. Yeah. <laughs> it's scared. What is his problem? The barriers were emanating from the throne. Even if you are the king of Goatsa, how dare you behave in such a manner? I don't think it is, is it? Is that that's not the same guy that was in the that gave the speech oh, a minute ago? Oh, please stay back! I had nothing to do with it. Nothing. You're not the king. No. No. Not the king at all. Just a strange old man. So where's the real king hiding out? Oh, there we go. Got something to do with uh, so Seth and um, Sarah are looking for the dude who kind of I don't know, chucked a coin or something. All right, let's go down here. There's nothing up here. God, no. Let's start with seven. <laughs> seven and work our way. And fingers crossed, you watch that. Oh. That, is that it? Oh, we did find that room, didn't we? That you could go. That, I did think there was no. Well, like, why else would they have made this room that you can go in and explore? But it's completely empty. I was going to say, no, my luck. The tenth floor will be the one that we've got to go on. But. Actually, I think I've done it first time here. Here we go. Who I knew it was you. Mars! I mean, your majesty. Kaim. Sarah. It's been so many years. Is that the king? You're still as lovely as ever, Sarah. Thank you. And you're still as charming as ever, your majesty. Why did you bring us here? Why the disguise? This was the only way I could find to spend a few quiet moments with you. It's not widespread knowledge yet, but word is out that you've abducted the Queen of Numara. Would you mind explaining what's going on? The Queen is with us. Then it's true you abducted her? She's one of us. But it would take too long to explain. One of you? Yes. A fellow immortal. So the queen who's been said to rule for a thousand years <laughs> is in fact immortal? I consider you to be one of us too. Even though I'm not immortal? Not as an immortal, but as one who cares for this world. To think that beings from another world should be the ones to teach me about love for my own world. Has it really been 50 years since we first met? Yes. I remember. Yes. You have that memory? No. My journals. You were just 20 then, weren't you? <sighs> I was certainly naive then, to go off as I did. I doubted that my inexperienced body and spirit would be equal to the demands and responsibilities of the kingship that I must one day inherit. 
let alone the challenges of defending my kingdom. And I wandered the world alone in search of an answer. I had been pampered by court life, and thus I was unprepared for the demands of the journey. Perhaps I was hoping for hardship, hoping that in testing myself, I would find the strength to seek some answers. Hang on. It was Kaim who found you and rescued you. Kaim has come too. I think he'll You and Kaim were already wed by then. I was jealous. Not only were you immortal, but you also had a bride who would herself be beautiful forever. Well, yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be immortal, experience changed you. it'd be nice if your wife was too. Journey, you found your answer. Yes. Oof. You'll put your life on the line to protect what you love. A truth that is as significant as it is simple. That was when you discovered it for yourself. Oh, I remember what you told me, Kaim. Love your kingdom as you love Sarah. Yes, you fear for the things you try to protect, and it is a fear you become accustomed to. Thank you. That's not the important thing. Take this. What matters is knowing that nothing lasts forever. Knowing that something is an eternal makes it more precious to you. It makes it worth fighting for. <laughs> Words are unnecessary. What matters is love and the will to fight for what you love. This belongs to you. Those words were first expressed by one of this world's ancient philosophers. His thoughts live on, even though people and history may change. The words engraved on that coin are the truth. That's why I gave it to you. I wanted you to read that, if you were ever uncertain of what to do. Truth? Yes, these words certainly contain a truth by which one may live. Unlike you, however, I have learned through dedicating myself to the welfare of my people, the impossibility of governing the world through truth alone. You've changed. We, the people native to this world, are different from you, immortals. This truth is the most beautiful and significant to immortals such as yourselves. We mortals, however, have but a finite amount of time. Our options, like our lives, are also limited. And I have learned that Sometimes one has to adopt less than ideal means to achieve ideal ends. Facts and reality sometimes demand that we take steps that contradict that very beautiful truth. The world always holds such contradictions. Gaim, Sarah, I have a favor to ask, now that you know my conflicted, contradictory nature. I will shortly be meeting in secret with King Tolton to discuss what can be done to avoid war, given the strained relations between our countries. He and I will consult between ourselves to avoid any interference from various vested interests on our respective sides. Yeah, you struggle to achieve your ideals, even while wrapped in contradictions. So to speak. 
And I would like both of you to be present when I meet with King Tolton. Why? The young king and I will be struggling with the divide between truth, reality, and fact. I want your advice, given your perspective as immortals. And if we still can't find common ground and up for war, then I ask that you not interfere. That part of you hasn't changed. You're suffering from having to confront an immutable reality that you cannot escape. You're every bit the man you were when we last met. You're too kind, Sarah. There is one thing. When King Tolton arrives, tell him that his court advisor Gangora is himself an immortal, and he's using his power to try to seize control of your entire world. What? Remember this fact, old friend. When faced with your decision. Queen Ming of Numara is with us. What would you say to having her attend the meeting as well? In addition, we have a favor to ask of you, too. We need to get to Ura. For that, we need a ship capable of traversing the hypercurrents. Very well. We'll bring the Queen along. I'll see you at the meeting. Kids trying to get on their little ride. Oh, Jansen and uh Oh god, okay. Jansen, Seth and Ming have lost them then. It's up here. Oh no. Oh, it's the purple thing. It's the purple thing maybe where you buy a ticket? Not that they're gonna have any money. Wow, you kids are travelling alone? I'm impressed. So is there something I can help you with? Eh? Hey, we've they've got all the money now. Mm, no, I think we're I think pretty good. I think we're pretty good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy your trip. Thank you. Uh, is it up here? Hey, hold on there. You aren't allowed on that platform. Damn. Okay. This platform? There we go. Hello. The train car is off limits. We thank you for your patience. What are we gonna do? Is that a chest though? I think it is. We could get to it. Let me get to it. Out of on. Well, it's been a very, very story heavy episode today. <laughs> so, uh, I don't think there's going to be any fighting today. I'm surprised they're having problems with the magic trains. Are they going to start running again soon? I hope so. That's what we came here for. If we could, like, sneak in somewhere or something. Who are you guys? Who are you guys? Quit bothering me. My people staked their claim against the immortal and paid for it with their lives. Now we must find a way to rebuild Kent. Ah. A violent aurora will never steer you wrong. Dive into it if you want to be reunited with the spirits of your loved ones. It's another okay. world where the spirits of the dead roam. Nobody's seen one of those auroras for 30 years, though. Okay. I'm just gonna walk away now, old lady. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do here. I mean, I can, I can speak to that guy one last time, but... This train car is off limits. Thank you, everyone. Alright, fine. Right, let me go back down here, then. Right, we're on another platform now. Is this the track the old lady said the Aurora was seen on? I think this is the one. She didn't mention that it was on a track, did she? She said she hadn't worn on an for 30 years. Sorry, this train's undergoing maintenance. Don't go in, okay? I'm just gonna ignore you. Hey, can we get it? We can get on it, can't we? Don't listen to the old guy. Come on, let's take it for a ride. What? 
Hmm? Let's go see the Violet Aurora. If we can get to it, we can see Mom. Do you actually believe hmm? that story? Yeah. Come on, she'll be there. It's just a story. You can't see people when they're dead. Quit dreaming. I'm not dreaming. Remember how Mom's flower saved us after Gongora wiped us out? She's here with us. Don't you want to see her too? If we can find her in the Aurora. I want to try it. Do you want to see Mom or not? <sighs> All right. I'll take your word for it. <sighs> Let's do it. I'll drive this train. But I sure, want to make easy. this clear. Do not blame me if we screw up. This was your idea, not mine. I know, I know. What do you mean, you know? Do you know what we're getting into? <laughs> oh, all right, stop crying. If we're gonna go, let's go already. Yeah. Hijacking a train here. Hmm. How, does, how does this work? I don't know. Just try pushing something. Ah, oh, forget it. Get out of the way. Just a bit of casual train robbery. Speechless, Seth. I know that. Hmm. Huh? So let's do this the easy way. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Now we're talking. <laughs> so well, where's the uh, real king? paid for his scams? Uh, yes. Uh, head for the train station. Our king is meeting with the king of Ura on board a train there. But uh, no one is supposed to know. Hey, thanks. Been a big help. Can make that money up somehow. <laughs> we make a pretty good team, even if it cost us a fair amount of money. Yeah, my money. I was gonna what? say, <laughs> cost Johnson a fair amount. I mean, it's like this: Seth did her pirate act to shake him up, and then I reeled him in by playing nice. You know, good guard, bad guard. It's the most basic technique for getting information out of people. I mean, we could have killed his family, but that's messy and <laughs> takes too long. Oh, so you planned it all. Well, yeah, actually we did. It was a dirty trick, but, you know, when you're on the street, you gotta take the good with the bad. I wasn't surprised at that. I am a queen, after all, and I've seen worse. However, what amazed me was how you two were able to work together. <laughs> what? Please don't tell me you're jealous. Jealous? Of what? Of... Oh, no, please. Uh, me and Pirate Girl? Come on. <laughs> Well, should we head for the station? Can't get in though, can we? Damn it, we should have gotten a permit for the fake king while we were at it. Oh, I don't think he, I don't think he could have done that. He was a fake after all. Oh well, I'm sure we'll come up with something. I'm sure we will. Let's head down, at least, well, at least we can head in the direction of the station. A lot of flip-flopping, isn't there, this episode? A lot of like sw switching between all the uh, different groups. Do, do. We're gonna get all back together though before there's any fighting to be done. Boom, boom. Right, so 
we should be off to the train station, I believe. Which is this one? It is it's this one. Assuming that we're actually allowed in, though. I mean, how did the kids get in? I don't even... They must have snuck... Oh, they snuck past in there. Showed a little cutscene of them sneaking past. Okay. That's all we have to do, then. Let us in. Excuse me, do you have a goat's ID? Sure don't. See, I told you we couldn't get in. Hmm. What to do? Oh, hello? Kai! Hey, what are you guys doing here? We've been searching. We were looking for you. Me? Come on. Oh, so now we can get in. <laughs> Why is that? Don't worry. It's all been taken care of. He's got friends in high places, Kaim. Yes, we are controlling them again. Right. I'm guessing we're going to get a train somewhere, but we are going to do that next time. Where are Cook and Mac, by the way? I guess we're gonna. That's gonna change our team a little bit. It means Jansen's definitely gonna be one of the five, because we've only got five people left now. But we'll do that next time. Wait, that was a really very story heavy episode. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave a thumbs up if you did, and I'm sure we'll get more action next time. Bye bye. This is so weird.